Hello, welcome back to Aaron's Anime, and today I think I might do something a little bit different. But before I get into that, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and without further ado, we will give you a quick demonstration of some personals I pulled just recently. Oh. Open up a few packs the other day. Got some very nice SLRs. I think I got all of them. I think there's only like maybe one spare, and that spare was the Hakim negative. All these ORs. I already have but they're just nice I had a couple ARs and URs but you know you wouldn't have seen enough of those also only pulled these two SPs I reckon in the new Wave 4s and the tier 4 boxes, you're always going to hit an SP and an MR. I say that, I've opened about 6 boxes and every one of them I've pulled that SR Tamari and a MR. Um, what else? Oh. Pulled a spare run also. And without even realising it, I've now pulled a total of four MR Yamato in nine tail mode or QB mode. I just put no extra one in the top loader just because, and then throw in the rest just all in some sleeves. Also, I didn't believe it, but I did. Let everyone know about the 20th anniversary card that they do come in the tier 4 wave 4 boxes if they were after I think the 28th or 26th of August and look at that it's an NR 20th 001 so potentially there could be some more anniversary cards or something like that I'm guessing as in they could bring out like a variant of a Sasuke one you know touchy and all that but remember hit that like hit that subscribe follow on Instagram but something I thought I'd do different today is we've got the wave four wave three of Naruto and Sasuke that Obviously, if the hit rate on both packs are the same, as in, is the first one on the right on this one going to be an SSR, second one down going to be UR, AR, and so on. So, we'll open them up. Good. Just gonna pull the pull them out. So the ones on the right side. So the ones on the left hand side. Okay. Let's zoom out a little. Is that camera gonna stay like that? Yep. Okay. Now for this one, see, still sealed up. Okay, I just thought we'd try it. Never know. I've always thought about it because every now and then I'd notice in a tier two box, roughly if you hit a 
GP, it's either the second or third on the right hand column. If you go downwards, that's where that one normally is. Occasionally put it on the top one, but majority of the time it's either the second or third. So I thought today we'll just try it. So basically I'm going to go this one, this one, this one, this one. Right side, same on the left. And then we'll know what our pull rates roughly are on each one. Might even just stack them up as well to see. Oh, would you look at that? SP. Straight off the bat. Okay. And now I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to leave them. Just like that. Oh, for example, I'll just leave them there. Then right hand side for the wave three. SLR, Kikashi, very nice. And then an HR. So this it might end up being a long video just for opening up two packs, but you can all try and see where the good cards hopefully gonna be. Oh, very nice. Over. So far the Wave 4 T4 box is killing it, and that's just only two packs down. Oh, it's not wanting to open. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. And then SSR. Wave 4 is absolutely killing it right now. SP, OR, and UR. Oh, SSR again. Just from putting these that you get way more SSRs and the wave three and two compared to the others. No, I could be wrong. It's a bit of an experiment in today's stream. Oh, sorry, today's video. Oh, very nice. I love these SLRs. But I do think, hopefully, within sort of the next six weeks or so. Oh, very nice. That I should be able to have a few packs of the tier 4 wave 1 which would be nice four packs Garen everyone I've called MR and SP it's ridiculous yeah I'm trying to get some way for tier one packs will be quite nice if I could very nice 
Ayan. Oh, so if I had just autopilot, I'm putting the card in the wrong one. Sorry about that. sort of open enough cards you basically know roughly that when you get your boxes arriving the tear forwards usually aren't held that nicely compared to the others so I'll put them for a little bit of a factor of that being not perfect. Should be nine and nine. This is the nine. That's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. For the right hand side. extra pack in sorry about that yeah. move those to the side Do the same thing again there's any more information about where the big hitters should be located give me a bell put in the comments or you know for us all to see Three did look a little bit bigger. I don't think I have that HR side. Add that to the old binder. It's quite nice. Ooh. 
Wouldn't mind having another BP though. That would be awesome. Oh, very nice. A chart. A touchy. Very nice. Called that one yesterday. So I've got to show you. I'll put it straight into the binder. But it looks awesome. A few people have finished collecting the silver ARs, which you can only get from the wave one. And it's just very Akatsuki. All ten of them. Let's go. Now we've got a second one. It's awesome. I wonder if this has taken place instead of a BP. I feel like that's a little bit unfair though. Could be wrong. Could have just taken over just a little more. Or just an SSR or something. If I just started randomly added in a 19th pack. Last pack magic for both of them. Come on. Where's that BP? Where's the BP? No. Not today. Gonna be nice though. Last pack, magic. Ooh, oh, wow, I don't have the brothers. So, I'll take that. Okay. <clears throat> and the wave four, so that's from nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Must have been put on that one accidentally. Sorry about that, team. Last pack. So it's nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. So that's the wave four lot. This is the wave three. So we've got one SSR, one new uh, that's three. Okay. Leave that like that, 
for now. This be our. This is uh, in my. Card. Okay, so now we can compare how many SSRs get in a wave three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if that's ten, it should only be eight packs, eight more hits left on that left hand side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, as you saw, there's only seven for SSRs on a wave four. And we go URs, got three, so it makes 13. Two, three, four, it's 11 now. Cards total, and then only one AR. And it puts it at 14 on that side, and then AR. We ended up getting three of them. That's even now, 14 either side. But then this one gave us two SLRs. Well, we got none on for the wave four and then got two ORs to finish the 18 for the end side for the wave three sorry one OR one Emma one SP and the 20th anniversary card. So as you can see, this wave four has more hits as there's less SSRs. Yeah, it's got more hits just because there's less, less SSRs, but it seems like there's a lot harder chance to get SSRs because it basically just meant there was four URs and three ARs. So your hit rate for just getting something else. Was that only four packs out of 18? To get something nice. And that's only because these cards came after the 26th of August. But because there's 10 SSRs in a wave three, it only gave you three URs. You get one AR, which meant you only got two SLRs, also two ORs. So far, I don't know, it's hard to, it's hard to say which pack is better or worse than the other, but the hit rates seem to be, I don't know, I'd say it'd be worse for a tier four pack, as in you need a chance of only four cards that aren't a you know that aren't that are above a r should say i'd say a r is above u r but it's below a u r o r but then on this side you've got more chance of hitting something nicer oh yeah it's my personal opinion anyway but next time we do it we might compare again and see how we go awesome Thanks for watching, and if you got anything else on about what I said, let me know in the comments below. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. See ya.